Hi, this is Doug. In this video, I'll show you how to format your Excel sheet to print out more easy to read tables. If you have a table like this and you have to print it out for your audience and you've gotten some feedback on that table, i.e. that was hard to read. Well, I'll show you two ways that you can make this type of table more easy to read for your audience. It's gonna take less than a minute each, so stick around and see how you can do it. So here we're gonna have our first example. Let's say we've got our data here. If I wanna do a page preview, let me go into page layout and take a look and see how it looks if I do a page preview here, print preview. And you can see that I've got the grid lines already set up. You go to page setup and go to sheet and I have my grid lines already set up. And it's still, it looks a little hard to read because they're so close together. So one way that we can mitigate this or take care of that is to increase the size of the rows. So I would just select my rows here and just right click and maybe on the row height and we can make it a certain width. Now I'll cancel this. What you can actually do is you can just, after you select my, the rows, you can just hover over one of them and just increase it. And you can see the height change. Let's make it uh, 50 pixels, right? And so that makes it a little bit wider and they're all justified at the bottom. So control A and let me select this group here and go under home and let's just change the alignment and make it middle aligned. Let's go back into page layout and you can actually just press control P to print and then go to print preview. And you can see that it's kind of nicely laid out a little bit better. Of course, now you got to go over to another sheet and it'd be nice to have the headers up there. So what we can do is go page setup and for the header and footer, oops, under the sheet here, what we want to do is have the rows, the rows to repeat at the top. Oh, this is grayed out. Let's see. I think that's probably because I have some setting. Let me unselect it here, go back. Let's go back here, go to the sheet and rows to repeat. Select this first row, go to print preview. And I got my first name, last name, gender. That's my row title. And here it repeats that. So that is what one, one, one way to do it where, you know, it looks like it looks a little bit more readable. We got some space between each of the rows. It's easier to read, right? So that's the first way. Another way we can do it is we can put blank rows in between each one of these. So let me go into the second one here. And what we can do is we can kind of start off a numbering scheme here. One, two, three, four, five, select that and double click it. And it's going to give me my series. And I've got 25 rows of data, control C to copy, control V to paste. I'm just going to put this as a sort, type that as a sort and press alt DS brings up the sorting window. You can also go under home and go under sort and bring up the custom sort. That's going to bring up the same window, but I want to sort by this row, right? I'll sort by sort smallest, to largest. It's going to put all the ones first, then the twos and threes and fours. And now we have our blank rows. And what I can do now is I can remove this, right click delete. I have my blank rows here, go under page layout or just press control P to bring up the print menu. It gives me a review of it go to page setup and I want to do the same thing, put my grid lines there and oh, I, I forgot to unselect that, click OK. And let's go back into the sheet here and go to page layout, click on that, go to sheet and the rows I want to repeat is the first row, go to print preview. And now it's a little bit more readable, but, but maybe in this case, the grid lines don't make it that good. So let's go to page setup and get rid of the grid lines here, click OK. And it's a little bit more readable. Maybe the first row isn't. So what we can do is we can go back and maybe we'll just make this one a more pronounced type of visual. Give it a, give these a border and maybe give it some color and then it just makes it more presentable, right? And so let's go to print preview, control P, print preview. And now you can see that we've got our headers here. And they're going to repeat. Let's go to the second page. You can see that now since there's a space or there's an empty row, it just makes it a little bit more readable. So there's the two ways that we can make our printouts look a little bit more presentable. If there's kind of a, like a lot of data in between, you can either give it a blank row or you can give it some space, make the rows a little bit wider or higher and give it a little bit space. Excel printouts can be a challenge, especially when you've got condensed tables. Try one of these two methods if you find yourself getting constructive feedback on how to make your tables easier to read. 
your audience will appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and to see more Excel videos like this, click the banner at the end of this video.